But because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's what we're seeing on the news, day in and day out. Come on. I will call together all the king of the earth. But y'all have to see what you see happening in Syria and Iraq is what we're reading here. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth. Come on. To reverence me. Uh-huh. Which are from the rising of the sun. Go ahead. From the south, from the east, and Libanus. Libanus is Lebanon. To turn themselves one against another. So God's plan, his program, is to have these nations fight each other. Let's say it again. God's plan is to have these nations fight each other. Read. And repay the things. Listen good to this. And repay the things that they have done to them. Write this down. To them is the Israelites. Everything that you see in the news is a, a direct judgment for what the nations did to the blacks and the Latinos and the Native American Indians. We are the Israelites. It is going to say it crystal clear. Read. Like as they do yet this day. Unto my chosen. So what you see happen to Trayvon Martin, what you saw happen to Michael Brown, Kajim Powell, the most I said, I'm not, I'm not sleep on none of that. I see all the injustice. Hey, let me ask you something. Um, you do believe in Christ, right? Do you believe that Christ came for all people? So that means Chinese, white people, everybody, right? Now, I'm going to read you three scriptures. And after I read these three scriptures, we're going to see if you still feel that way. First, before Christ was born, it was prophesied to his mother that she would have a son and his name would be Jesus, right? Go to Matthew chapter 1. Bring it out, you know. Bring it out. Listen good. Let's see if Jesus Christ came for everybody. Bring it out. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. The she is Mary. And Mary shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. What was the son's name? And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Let's see who he's coming for. For he shall save his people. The Bible says he shall save who? For he shall save his people. It says his people. Who is Christ's people? Matthew 2, Matthew 2, 6. Let's see. Let's let, the, let's let the Bible explain. Who is Christ's people? The book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. That shall rule my people. Israel. Who? Israel. Israel. Go back to Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 And she shall bring forth the son And thou shalt call his name Jesus Stop, sister, sister Come here sister, come here You Sis I want you to understand something Do you understand what we're reading right now? The importance of what we're reading the Bible, right? That's your, who is this? Your, your, that's your girlfriend? <laughs> Listen we're reading the Bible. That's your brother, and that's your brother. Right? Now hold that, go to Matthew chapter 18 and verse 3. Both of these are your brothers, but you don't know it. Read. Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children. Except ye be converted and become as little children. Children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So as little children, we must do what? We must sit and learn from our who? Our parents. You understand what I'm saying? Now, who is our parent today? Christ, God, right? Now, let's learn from him. So don't walk away, right? 
Now, go to Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. This is good. Jesus, for he shall save his people, for he shall save his people from their sin, from their sins. That didn't say all people. It said his people. Well, Christ, when you walk the earth, who did you say that you came for? Matthew 15, 24. So now it was prophesied before Christ came on the earth that he was going to come to save his people. Now he's walking the earth. Let's see what he said. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, that he is Christ. But he answered and said, I am not sent. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said, I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So if you're not of the house of Israel, Christ is not sent for you. You understand that? That's the importance of you knowing that you come from the house of Israel. Now, after his death and resurrection, let's see if it changed. Acts chapter 5. Acts 5. Let's see if it changed. Verse 29. Read. The book of Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. The way that you obey God is obey the Bible. These are the words of God. So Peter said we ought to obey the word of God rather than who? Rather than men. Rather than your pastor. We? Verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. They're going to hear, they're going to hear Jesus again. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Verse 31. Him, him, him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince. Christ is a prince. To be a prince and a savior for to give repentance. Christ has come to give repentance to Israel. To who? To Israel. To who? To Israel. To Israel. Now, who are his people? All uh, praises. Now, who are you? Are you his people? What's your nationality? Now, you don't know. Now it's time for you to find out who you are. You understand me, sister? God chose you today to come stand before me so that you can find out who you are. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. This is Moses speaking unto the children of Israel after we came out of Egypt, out of captivity. Watch what he say. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. I went there first to give you the audience to whom Moses is speaking to. Right. Who is Moses speaking to? His people. What's their name? Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the people is who? Israel. Right? Now, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's find out who Israel is today. Let's find out who Christ is sent to today. Verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is speaking to the Israelites. He just came off the mountain where God showed him what would happen. Where God gave him commandments to give to the people. But then he told the people, if you don't keep these commandments, there will be curses to come upon you. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. I'm giving you commandments from God. Read. 
that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If you don't keep the commandments, there will be curses to come upon you and overtake you. Verse 46. Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. And they, and they, and the curses shall be upon thee, shall be upon the Israelites for a sign. For a sign. If I want to know what Ross is, where would I, what would I look for? Ross, the place Ross, the store Ross. If I'm not from Seattle, and I want to find out where, how to get to Ross, how would I know a map? But what is a map? A what? What's another word? A sign. You understand what I'm saying? It's a sign. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the curses shall be upon the people for a sign. And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. Meaning in 2019, the curses of Deuteronomy 28 should still be on the Israelites. Am I correct? Right. Verse 16. Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So Moses said in 2019, you will be in the worst parts of the city. Are not we in the worst parts of the city? We are. We are. So that's true, right? Read. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. When we got off the slave ships, where, was they, where did they have us picking cotton at? In the cotton fields, right? Read again. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Cursed will you be in the city? And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And cursed shall you be in the field. Did that not pertain to us? Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Was not our sons and daughters given to another people? Did that not happen to us? That happened to us in slavery. Moses prophesied it thousands of years before it happened. Why? Because we broke the commandments of God. Read again. Deuteronomy 28 verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. You blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, you are the chosen people of God. You are the Israelites of the Bible. You are greater than all people on this earth. Be and there shall be no might in thine hand. But because you broke the commandments of God, you have no might in thine hand. Verse 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Hey, y'all come here. Come here. We, both of you brothers, we are here for you. We are here for you. Read it again. Deuteronomy 28 verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Stop. Hey, look on this sign, bro. Do you, do you identify with the people that's on this sign? Absolutely. Which one would you say is you? Are you Haitian? You Haitian? Right, you Issachar, you Mexican, right? Do you know that you're from the 12 tribes of Israel? You believe that? So that today is not the first time you're hearing that? No, so where did you hear it from? Your father told that you, that through scripture, that you was an Israelite. Right, so you're Israelite. So, what did God tell the Israelites that they must do? No. He said that they must do something. Tell me if you don't know. No, 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 no,
What, what did God go to Deuteronomy 10? God gave the Israelites requirements. What were those requirements? Okay, all praises. That's a humble spirit. Now we're going to let God teach. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of you? But to fear the Lord thy God. First you must come to God in fear. To walk in all his ways. You gotta walk in the ways of God. And to love him. And you gotta show God love. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And to serve him. Now he's gonna tell you how you do all four of those things in one. Read. And with all thy soul. 13. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. So the requirement is to keep the commandments of the Lord. Now, do you keep the commandments of the Lord? Absolutely. Okay, let's get a commandment. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Stop. So God told his people that we should not make baldness upon our head. Why? Because that was an Egyptian custom. We were coming out of Egypt. So God was separating us from the Egyptians. So he said, do not bald your head. Today will be like Floyd Mayweather, the Michael Jordan. Don't bald your head. But watch what else he say. Read. Neither said neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Read it again. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Now, do you shave? So you're in violation of that commandment. You understand? Did you know you're not supposed to shave? You didn't know that. So now that you know that you don't supposed to shave, are you going to continue to shave? You, you have to say they make you shave. So, so what should you be trying to do? You need to leave it, right? You need to leave it. Hold up, hold up. Go to Psalms 37 and 25. Listen good. Listen good, cause you in the south, you you hey, you gotta you surviving now, right now. This is something that you don't have, which you must learn to gain, which is faith. You understand what I'm saying? You must have faith in the Lord God. Now, if you have faith in the Lord God, this will come to pass. Read Psalms chapter 37, verse five. Commit. Excuse me. Verse 25, I have been young and now am old. This is King David. He said, I have been young and now I am old. Yet have I not seen, yet have in my life, I have not seen the righteous for the righteous, meaning those that keep the commandments. I have not seen those that keep your commandments, Lord. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken. I know you won't forsake them. We, nor his seed begging bread. Nor his seed, his children begging bread. Why? Because we are commanded to help you if you're keeping the commandments. So you will not have to be in the salvation. You won't have to be there. Because we what? We will take care of you. Why? Because you're our brother. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? And when I see you, I should see Christ. That's right. And it's not I that's really helping you. I'm helping who? Christ. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So you need to learn to keep the commandments of God. But you don't know some of the commandments. Jeremiah 3.15. That's why we're here. So that you can learn them. You understand that, bro? Now, do you? Do you got any questions? You just listen, I'll pray.
Get that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. So God said, I will give you pastors according to my heart. What is the heart of God? You don't know. Hold that. Go to Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Let's see the heart of God. Because God said, I will give you pastors according to my heart. Wait. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read No one of these shall fail None shall want her mate For my mouth it hath commanded And his spirit it hath gathered them So the heart of God is his word You understand what I'm saying? So God said that I would give you pastors according to my word you understand? Read. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you. The pastor that I'm going to give you, they're going to feed you with knowledge. They're going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Stop. Hey, sister. Sister right here. Get, your, get her. We on. Verse 16, and it shall come to pass. Now, now, let's see the knowledge that the pastor is supposed to feed you with. Go to Malachi 2 and 7. Let's see the knowledge because this, this prophecy is happening to you right now. Go to, let's, let's see the knowledge. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The Israelites. We are the true priest of the entire earth. Yes, sir. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The Israelites should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. What is the knowledge? Read it again from the top. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. What is the knowledge? Read it slow. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they, and they, and the people should seek the law at his mouth. So what is the knowledge that they should seek? The law. That is the knowledge. Just like you came up and you didn't know that you supposed to not shave. That's a law. If I'm a true priest of God, I should do what? Tell you the law. Because a false prophet will do this. Go to Ezekiel chapter 26. This is how you understand who are the real prophets and who are the false prophets. Go to Ezekiel chapter 26 verse 22. Let me see what that, that's it. Uh, 22, 26. Yep, read that. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Her priests have violated my law. Hold up. These are the false prophets. What did they do? Her priests have violated my law. They violated the law. The real priests will feed you with the law. So a false priest will not will tell you that God's laws are done away with. That's the false prophet. So that means the people in the Christian church or listening to what kind of prophet? A false prophet. You understand what I'm saying? Read. And have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. That's why they tell you you can eat whatever food you want to eat. It's all good in Christ Jesus. Yeah, that's what you do. That's what he would do. That's what I'm saying. He's telling you, you, you can't eat whatever the hell you want to do. Read. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. They hid their eyes from what? From my Sabbath. From the Lord's Sabbath. From the Lord's Sabbath. Now, 
Did I know that that's what your brother was telling you? No, but God knew it. So now God is talking to you through me. You understand? Now let's see if that's in the Bible. Hold on that. Go to Luke chapter 1 verse 68 and 69. Let's see how God talked to his people. Wait. Luke chapter 1 verse 60, uh, 69. No, 68. Blessed be the Lord God. Verse 69. Verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. How does God speak? Read it again. As he spake by the God spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Who are the holy prophets? You're looking at us. We. Which have been since the world began. Because yeah, you're looking at our bodies, but our spirit's been on this planet since the world began. That's why now you're hearing this Bible to the capacity to what you never heard before. Now the prophets are back. On the earth, we, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. Who are our enemies? Who are our enemies? Who are our enemies? What people on the earth are our enemies? Hold that. Go to do the right. You right, but I want you to see a main enemy. Hold that, Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we still gonna go back to Jeremiah. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. God said that we would have to serve our enemies. Look right here. You're from the northern kingdom. Who, who did you have to serve? What people? The Spanish, which is which is what's the entire Spanish nation of people? White folks. Europeans. So God just said that the Europeans are who? Your enemy. You understand what I'm saying? But hey, I don't know about that. Okay, read on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger, in hunger for your food, you gotta serve your enemy. And in thirst for your water, you have to serve your enemy. And in nakedness for your clothing, you have to serve your enemy. And in want of all things, everything you want, you have to serve the people that enslaved you. What are we reading? The Bible. That's right. We and he and he, your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Pick that up. Who put yokes of iron on our necks? The so called white man. What did God call him? Your enemy. Thus said the Lord God. That's what the Bible says. Bring it up. You understand what I'm saying? So those are our enemies. Now go back to Luke. Now that we know who our enemies are, let's see who Christ is going to save us from. Luke chapter 1 verse 71. That we shall be saved from our enemies. So who Christ is going to save us from? The white man. So how is Christ going to save us from the white man, but then get a white man's salvation at the same time? Come on. Yeah. This is what they ain't going to tell you in the church. Wait. And from the hand of all that hate us. Because they hate us. That's why to this very day, they got us down in the streets. That's why to this very day, they try to build a wall. This is your land. They took it from you. But yet, they, got, they, they have the audacity to say, no, you can't come. You're an illegal alien. The hell is this? Give me your leave me lamentations. Bring it this is your land. Bring it out. God it said that they are the, the aliens. They are the illegal aliens. Lamentations 5. Lamentations chapter 5, verse 1. Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Consider, Lord, and look at our reproach. Look how the nations are calling us his people.
Hispanic, which means property of Spain. Look how they call us niggas, which means black, African American, two white men. Wait. Verse 2. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. This land was inherited to you from your forefathers. But what happened? Our inheritance is turned to strangers. But now strangers are in your land, calling themselves Americans. Bring it out! Our houses to aliens. Our houses to who? Our houses to aliens. God said that your houses have been given to aliens. So who is God calling the aliens? The white man. This is your land. This is your land. We. Verse 3. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. Our mothers are as widows. We. Verse 4. We have drunken our water for money. We have drunken our water for money, which goes back to Deuteronomy 28, which tells you what? That you will have to go to your enemies for all things. You understand that, brother? Now, go back to Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. This is what the prophets will tell you. Read it. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. I will give you pastors. God said I will give you pastors. Read. According to my heart. According to the Bible. They will all come out straight out the Bible. Read. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. They will feed you with the law of God and the understanding of the Bible. Read. Verse 16. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased and drop that. Now you understand who the real prophets are. You're looking at us. We are the ones that are giving the law. You understand what I'm saying? We are the true prophets of God. Back on the earth to gather the 12 tribes of Israel. All praise to the Most High. So, so, so do the research. And let your brother know that's been telling you all this stuff that we're back on the earth. All right? Our praise to the Most High. Our praise. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.